Squarespace might have the option to embed a video from a YouTube or Vimeo URL, and while that might be fine for 90% of websites, what if you want to add something that looks a bit more natural to your website, an autoplay and showcase video or an animation exporter from After Effects? Well in this video that's exactly what we're going to look at, autoplay and video was uploaded directly to Squarespace. Alright, before we start we'll take a look at this video. I don't mean actually watch the video, what we need to do is look at the video format and the file size. So we're going to be using HTML to make the video player, so the only support of video formats in HTML are MP4, WebM and OGG. So you need to make sure the video you're uploading is one of these. We can also see it's only 5.1 meg, that's mainly because it's only quite a short video, just on 10 seconds. And the resolution is quite low as well, this one's just 1000 by 636 So it's about keeping your file size as small as possible. So it's about keeping your file size as small as possible, otherwise it's going to bloat your web page and make it really slow to load. Remember that it's probably only going to be your small tile, so it doesn't need to be a big 8K monster. A good way to compress the video is using an app called Handbrake, which is completely free and gives you all kinds of compression options. I'll leave a link to Handbrake and some Handbrake tutorials in the description. Once we've got our video down to a decent size and in the right format, we'll jump into Squarespace. Okay, over in Squarespace, we'll go to Design and then Custom CSS. And then we'll expand Manage Custom Files. Let's click to upload a thing, a font or an image or a file. We'll find a video. Let's open that. Wait for it to upload. And we'll wait. And we'll wait. And we'll... Once it's finally uploaded, we'll click on the file to reveal the URL. And then we'll highlight and take a copy. And then we can cancel out of this. And then I'm just going to drop this into a text editor until we need to use it. Next we'll set up the player, so we'll drop a code block into the page. And first I'm going to center the video in the code block. Now this is completely optional, so I'm just going to add some center tags. And between these tags we'll add the video player, so we'll put the video tags. So left angle bracket, video, right angle bracket. And then between these tags we'll put the video source tag in. So left angle bracket, source, src equals, couple of quotation marks, space, and then type, equals another couple of quotation marks, forward slash, and then the close and right angle bracket. And if everything's set up properly, these tag names should turn green. Okay, that's the player set up. Now we need to add the video and do a few other things to make this work. So we're going to grab the video URL that we copied. and paste it between the quotation marks for the video source. Then between the quotation marks for the type we'll put video, forward slash, and then the format type, which in our case is MP4, but if you're using WebM, you change this to WebM. If you're using OG, whatever OG is, you put OG in there. And you can see we've got our first frame of the video in the code block. So next we'll tell it to autoplay. So after the O and video, in the opening tag, we'll make a space. And go autoplay equals quotation mark autoplay quotation mark. And if you want it to loop, we'll go loop equals quotation mark true quotation mark. And we can also control the size by adding width equals guessed it another quotation mark. Let's go 500 and then, yep, another quotation mark. And we can also add controls to the video by making a space. And um, this time we're not using any quotation marks or anything. We're just going to put controls. And that'll bring up controls when you hover over the video. And that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful. If you did, leave us a thumbs up below. If you're not already, consider subscribing to see more stuff like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya.